Hello and welcome to another Sif 5 video. Today we are continuing right from where we left off, which is, um... Well, actually, I don't even know where we left off. Um, let me see. Alright, so, okay, so apparently we were going to attack Rome, but I don't think we're going to attack him anymore. We're just going to pull that Cold War maneuver on him. And, um... Alright, we still have unhappiness that we got to get fixed. we got, we got to fix that shit. And, um... got farmers over there. And, uh, oh, right, we got seed resources. We should probably get that. So we'll research, uh, what is it? In fact, let's set it down. We'll research sailing automatically. There it is. We'll research sailing after after construction. That way, that way we'll do it. But, but, um, before we do all that, let's go and name our, name our frontline city, Your Corny Lettuce. I'm cringing a little bit because the internet, <laughs> whatever. Um, alright. I see how it is, man. You want to make a fool of us. You want to make a fool of the Englishman. <laughs> Name a city holy lettuce. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just hit next turn. And, uh, you know, hopefully my mouse doesn't die on me. Oh, by the way, for those that don't know, I do play... I, I, I do use wireless mouses because I don't like Three. being feathered. And we're in the classical era. And, uh, for, from what I've noticed, wireless mouses last anywhere between, um, they last from anywhere between, I guess you can say, four to five years? Well, actually, my, my first one lasted three years, so, so, and I've been using the second one for, for five years, so that's, you, you get what I mean, right? Like, that should last long, but, th so does any other hardware, um, but, um, what I'm trying to say is that they die out of battery, and, uh, well, not just battery. They also have a habit of just dying and not working. And we just lost the stone hedges, but, but it's okay, because, because, um, because, yeah. <laughs> Let's go attack these people. No, it's because I was thinking of building it, but I couldn't build it because we were, um, building an army. But it's not much of an army, it's just, like, four wannabe units, and, um... According to our scouts, Caesar's units are all down south, but it would only take him a moment to mobilize him and bring him up north again. Um, I guess he's at war with other people. I don't know. Caesar's always at war with someone. Guy's a troublemaker. <laughs> we gotta take care of him, guys. You know, if I'm correct, with the army Caesar possesses, all these guys are gonna gang up on him because of the lack of cities he has. Anyway, that's at least that's at least what I've noticed with AI. Like they tend to attack the weaker guy, and not militarily, like not militaristic, really, not a weak guy by military, a weak guy by the amount of cities he has. Well, it has, she, she he or she has. Um, in this case, it would be Caesar has. So it should be interesting um, to see if they will attack or not. And um, oh, 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 oh. What is wrong with me? So silly. Production, you silly goose. What are you doing? Not using production. Oh, now we're going. Now we're losing money. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, anyway. Um. As you may have noticed, I moved the unit here. Because, um. That's probably going to be the location of our next city. It's a really good position. We get bananas. Because bananas and dyes and uh, horses and horses and deer, um, so this city that will settle that will be settled here is going to be a really rich town. Well, city, um, and apparently the Netherlands just settled over here. No, actually, is this the Netherlands? Yes, they are. <laughs> so yeah, if, if the Netherlands settled over there, now we're in trouble because that means he could start pushing me or he could start attacking Caesar. It'll probably be attacking Caesar, but it's too early to tell. Let's wait like five to ten turns or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I mean, I don't like being wrong, but I could be wrong, but odds are I'm right, because I'm rarely wrong. Well, that's false, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go fix the horsies. And, uh... Alright, so we just finished sailing, so let's switch our production focus to work boat, and, and, uh, yeah, okay, so these guys are building a farm. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to steal them from their 
farm progress and and uh, have them cut down the forest for production. And um, if you do hear like a bird in the background, it's just my little bird. Well, he's not very little. He's a cockatiel. They're like they're like nine inches, nine and a half. Um, I it it would be um, shit. If you were to make a if you were to make a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse would be nine and a half inches, and that's how long the bird is. Um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Bad description. Well, whatever. Just bear with me. Okay. So we still have unhappiness, so we're gonna learn trapping for, for uh, so we can have like a little circus here. I think that's circus. Yeah, that's a circus. It gives us two happiness. It's just all you need is horses. Um. Horses or ivory, and um, oh, well, that's cool. I know I'm not on the list. <laughs> J.K. I am on the list. <laughs> let's make a coliseum here, and um, let's see, a unit that needs order. Shop that wood, and and uh, yeah. So if you do hear, also if you hear a vibration in the background, it is my AC because it's been getting a little too steamy in this room. You know, with, with the, all the owning I'm doing in this game. <laughs> so, no, it's just a little hot. And, yeah. Um, Alright, so these guys are done. I guess we'll send, well, I was going to send them up north. Well, it would be really, send them up west. But I guess I could just send them down here because, um, think about it, like, Nottingham, there's a barbarian base here, we have no soldiers there, so Nottingham keeps fucking getting smashed by barbarians while, um, you know, horny lettuce over here is protected, so, <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's cool, Caesar, alright, Caesar has become hostile, that's not good. But that means he'll become hostile with other nations as well because he's being a little twat. <laughs> no, it's because he has no other cities, so that's how that's how AI reacts when they have one city in self defense. They just fucking attack well they start hating everything and then they begin to uh threaten you with their penis. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like this video. <laughs> um Shit, fuck, my mouse is really starting to die now. Keeps getting stuck. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go get me a new mouse. Later. Alright, so... <sighs> now we have one boat. And, um, our happiness is almost fixed. And and uh, since this guy's over here, might as well turn it into a farm, and uh, get the twenty production because we do need a water mill for horny lettuce. You know, it has a nice ring to it. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, horny lettuce. <laughs> like it's something you could say, like, oh yeah, you had your lettuce today. It's horny. Or like, how do you like your lettuce served? Horny? Question mark. Or actually, we should. I think about it. We should send a scout over here just to see where scissors yeah. unit placements are. Cause, like in any war, you need um you need people all around the place, you know, just to watch, watch out. No, just just so you know where they're coming from. Um, information wins wars. Yeah, you probably already knew that. All right. So, oh, we're finished with trapping. What a good news. Okay, so I guess we'll go with engineering only because we might need a great wall, but I don't know. I was thinking about... I, uh, sorry, I couldn't speak there for a second. <clears throat> I was thinking about going with currency, but um, it won't do us much good right now. I mean, yes, we are a little bankrupt, but but everyone is... everyone, Every nation has this moment in their history where they're, they don't make bank. Um... And uh Netherlands wants us to declare war on Caesar, so I guess we'll we'll prepare with him. And um 
We'll prepare with this guy. But well, we all know we're not going to attack anybody. <laughs> but they don't know that, so guys, don't tell the Mayans or the Aztecs, whatever. Um, okay, so that's built. That's built. Um, these are just fun. That's just the rest of this place is just farmland, so I guess we'll just move over here. Whew. And apparently Persia is about to begin w declare war on um, Caesar. You know, assuming that he already has it. I think he may have already had, but I, I don't know. Um, I have, haven't been paying much attention, actually. There's a way to check this, isn't there? Uh, nope. Well, yeah, there is, actually, usually. There, there'll be, like, a pop. There'll be a status, I think. No. Status is for me. I mean, shit. There'll be, like, a little swords mark if they're at war, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Persia seems to be moving his units closer to Caesar, but then again, um, and again, Persia could also be, also be, uh, trying to take me over, in a sense. Um, I don't know. We'll get there when we get there, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's build a Colosseum down here as well. And horny lettuce. You should be production focused as well. Even though it's a little difficult right now, but, um, hopefully it'll change in the future. And I guess we'll send him up to go get some bananas, because at us and and uh, we, these guys made it so now, if my mouse decides to fucking work we could actually play this game all right so we'll we'll defend here anyway like I was saying <clears throat> sort of like the economic struggles you have in this game is one of the reasons why I like the game and you might find it a little weird well let me explain that to you think about it back when all these countries were little cities or better yet colonies um, they all had economic hardships and uh, and as they got as they advanced throughout the eras so let's see we're classical as I went through like the modern industrial atomic and the information era their economic situation got better except for Africa that place is a shithole it's always bad don't go to Africa <laughs> oh man that was funny anyway <laughs> um um, yeah, Africa is, I don't know, lots of diamonds. But, but what I'm trying to say is that, <clears throat> in reality, everybody borrows from each other. So, you think about it, technically, everybody is in debt. We're not really in debt, we're just losing money. But if there was a way to borrow money, um, I feel like there should be a way to borrow money. Once, like, after, I don't know, maybe it's a mod, maybe I'll make it a mod, but... Just to add realism, after you pass like the industrial era, well, actually, actually, <clears throat> after you reach the industrial era, it should be possible for you to borrow money from other nations. Well, take loans from other nations, and I'm sure it'll get to a point where everybody takes loans from everyone else because that's how that's how this planet works. It's all about fucking loans. <laughs> no, everybody just borrows from each other, and at the end, everybody gets fucked because because somebody has to pay it back. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that puts it into rough perspective. But, yeah, I think it would be really cool if we could, um, we could, ah, uh, fuck it, we're going to go to a golden age. I don't have time for this shit. Um, <laughs> if we could, uh, if, you, like, once you hit industrial era, you could be able to, you should be able to, there should be, like, a banking system or something where you can, where you can borrow and, and steal from other nations, you know, without being a little dick. Um, so, I guess we know where Persia is headed now. We called it sort of, in a sense. We did know, we did say they were heading towards us. Uh, we didn't know if they were gonna attack us or the or Caesar, but um, I guess they decided to attack us, which is not a prob big problem at all. I mean, they do have a really good early game unit, which is the uh, what is this? The f the immortal. Um, but I think Horny Lettuce can hold on, hold it, hold on to itself, hold its walls. Anyway, let's build some walls, keep the place fortified, and, uh, and I guess we'll have to call this unit back up. But we will set a city down there at one point. It's just not a priority right now. 
And, um, yeah, now that Persia has declared war on us, Rome has pulled his units back, as you may have noticed, because now they're not really worried about us. Uh, but, but that might change in a few moments. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so we got to get this guy back into our territory. And I have no idea how to do this. So, so uh, you're going to have to give me a minute so I can figure this out. You can do a lot of stuff with one unit. Um, especially in this game. If you know how to use them correctly. So, the way I see it is that we should always have one guy in the base. Well, at base. And, um... Yeah, we're not going to attack them. <coughs> to let them attack us, there's a percentage loss so when you fight over rivers. Anyway, yeah, so... So we should always have one guy, one unit in the city. So we'll move this guy there. That's as a last case, last resort. And uh, we'll move this guy over here to protect that guy. And hopefully they'll heal each other. And and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This game just got interesting. Wasn't expecting Persia to attack me. Well, I did sort of call it again, but um, <laughs> wasn't really really expecting it. It was just more hypothetical. Uh, but oh, what do you know, right? All right, so, so, so uh, once we do destroy this guy's country, and and rape all the horses and steal its women, we're going to turn his men into slaves and and have Darius's head in London in a museum to show how big, big of a bad person he was, because he attacked us. <laughs> so it's only a matter of time until we get this shit shit back together. Um, yeah. Alright, anyway, we're out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next week in another Civ 5 video. If you have any suggestions, comments, uh, want me to name a city, preferably not horny lettuce, but, you know, something else, like, I don't know, I can't think of something right now. But, uh, you, you know, just comment. I'll be more than happy to do it. Like I said, well, actually, I didn't say this before, but, in a sense, I do, I do this for a hobby, so, you know, I do have, I'm not sponsored by anyone or... Like I, there's no limitations to what I can do pretty much on this channel because cause it's all independent and independent is good when it comes to YouTube so that's a fun fact so yeah I'll see you guys later and uh, make sure you subscribe because cause, you know that's one of the downsides of being independent you gotta advertise yourself but, but it's alright